Probably like yeah, August, something like that. Yeah, it been it was a month. All right, so um, I'm just trying to get some background, and then we'll go over everything. All right, cool. So now you started with 13 puppies. Yeah. And you down to how many? Five. Five. God damn. Sorry for your loss, fam. Love off the money, put blood on the money. When you make it to the top, everybody money hunting. They gunning, they coming. They wanna see you in the grave. Don't wanna see you pay. They wanna see you slave, but nah, we can't have that. And niggas turn to dead weight, we had to trash that. No lost love, tell them suckers they can have that. And no more stress about love, man, what a bag at. On my mama, I'm past that. Put chains on the door, praying I don't get a foot in. Count real niggas out. How you fake niggas get in, but won't last forever, y'all. Crash together, my dog show me real love. Sometimes won't last forever. My heart broke when I seen that. Damn it. Again, family. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's Fetty G, baby. With SSK Kennels. Oh, uh, we just received the call. If y'all can, family, y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, family. It is 10 in the morning right now. I just got a call from a gentleman from Maryland. Um, with cons with some concerns and things that's going on with his puppies. He just had his first litter. And it's some things he's experiencing. So I told him, let me, as y'all can see, I just ate breakfast. I told him, let me finish eating. And I'm going to give him a call back. So I decided to record this call so y'all can see and get some insight on some of the calls that I get. I get so many calls with so many different questions. So we're going to do this one together, family. We gonna do this one together, baby. Hello. Fam, this Fetty G. What's going on, fam? Good morning. How you doing? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Yeah, this my other line right here. My bad. Okay. All right, so talk to me. What's going on? Uh, you you like told me the pups was born. Well, let's right. just start from the top. You told me the pups was born. No. What's your name? Malik. Malik. You got a kennel name? Yeah, P I F Kennel. P I F kennel. That's what you said. Yeah, P I F. P I F kennel. What P I F stand for, if you don't mind? Paid in full. Paid in. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. All right, so fam, your pups you said was born November fifteenth, right? Correct. You first dewormed them maybe December 9th. Right. So I was a little past one, two, three, about three and a half weeks old. Right. It's not terrible, but you could have dewormed early. Again, remember I told you, you want to deworm at two weeks old. Right. I already told you how many days in a row, so we'll keep that. You know what I mean? Right. All right, so let's start from the beginning. You had how many puppies you started with? I started with 13. 13? 13. Let me ask you a question. When your dog, when your mama dog was pregnant, did you deworm mom? No, I didn't deworm her while she was pregnant. Um, and again, fam, I'm just trying to get some background. So don't take any of the questions that I'm asking. I don't want you to take them personally. Know, bro. Know, bro. You good. You good, okay, bro. okay. Did you deworm mom before she got bred? Yeah, I was deworming her before. Not like consistently, but I was deworming her. Okay, before you bred her, right before you bred her, when was the last time you dewormed her? Maybe how long ago? Maybe a week ago, two weeks, a month ago? How long you think it was? Let me see. I got her pregnant in like September, so I probably would have dewormed her like, probably like, yeah, August, something like that. Yeah, it, been, it was a month. All right, so um, I'm just trying to get some background and then we'll go over everything. All right, cool. So now you started with 13 puppies? Yeah. And you down to how many? Five. Five. God damn. Sorry for your loss, fam. So. Remember, the biggest thing, you want to start off deworming at two weeks old, fam. Right. I'm going to give you some more information once we, once I get off this video. I'm going to give you some way more information. But you want to start deworming your puppies when they're two weeks old. When you deworm the puppies, you want to deworm mom at the same time. What to deworm them with, I'm going to give you that information. Um, but to me, you said you separating them away from mom, right? Right. So she not laying on them, she not suffocating them, she not doing none of that. Okay, so keep in mind also, 
Have you, when you, are they eating regular food now? No, they eat not like hard food. They eating like the mush. Like mush, yeah. Right, 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 right. right are right, you right. putting any type of probiotics in their food? No, I'm just giving them, uh, I grind up the dog food in a blender. Uh, I use goat milk and I use a little bit of, uh, of the baby formula. Okay. And they, they eating it good? Yeah, they, 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 they shoot it up. Let me ask you a question. When they eat, after they eat, let's say an hour or two later, after they eat, do they stomachs look really like inflamed or it look real big? Yeah, it look like, yeah, well, yeah, two of them do. Two of them got a big stomach that they finish eating. All right, so that's signs of worms right there. Okay. That's one of the ways you could tell that your pups got worms. Remember I told you when you deworm, when you do that initial deworm, and I told you how many days you want to deworm, right? Right, right. After that, fam, the biggest threat to your puppies at that age is worms. That's the biggest threat to your puppies. So you got to keep in mind, in order to keep these puppies strong, healthy, and happy, I got to make sure they free of worms. Right. Let me tell you something, fam. You cannot kill them by giving them too much worm medicine. Okay. And when I say too much, I'm not saying if you're supposed to give them one ml or one milliliter, don't give them five milliliters. I'm just saying if they're supposed to get one milliliter according to what the bottle says, this is a tip of mine. You don't have to take it. I'm just telling you one tip that I do. If the bottle say that I'm supposed to get this puppy 1.5 milliliters based off that puppy weight, right? Right. I'm probably going to get that puppy two or 2.5 milliliters. The initial one, two, or three doses because I want it to be a little bit stronger. Remember, on the bottle of medication, they always going to play it safe because they want to make sure that they medication don't harm your dog. Right. So giving a little extra won't hurt. So keep that in mind. But I personally think your puppies either got, they could have whoop, uh, round worms, hook worms, tape worms. They could have whip worms. So they could have one of those worms. They could have all of those worms. They could also develop something called coccidia or coccidiosis. And what that is, is um, coccidia is like an intestinal parasite. But it comes from like the puppies eating a poop or, you know, drinking poopy water. But coccidia could also live like, say the mama dog, she go outside to use the bathroom. She drag her nipples on the ground. She get, she peed in that spot maybe. And then the next day or later that day, she walked through that same spot and her nipples dragged on the ground. And then she go back in there and let the puppy suck on her. Stuff like that. The puppies can develop certain diseases or certain worms they could pick up like that. That's why I said worming them. Is the key. You got to keep them dewormed. There are certain stuff that you could put in the food outside of worm medicine that helps and acts as a worm preventer or a, or a dewormer itself. And I'll tell you that also. Um, but again, fam. Um, and then there's a medication if they do got Giardia. They could also have, I mean, Coccidia. They could also have Giardia. There's a certain medication for that. And Giardia could come from them eating a poop, drinking like pee pee or poo poo water. You get what I'm saying? Like say they say that sometimes they poop and they pee in their water and then they'll go drink it. They could develop Giardia like that. And Giardia could be killing your pup. Let me ask you a question. How they poop look? They shit like a regular. Like it come out like a cancer real, but it's just a small ass tear, like a long, long, small one. Are they hard? Or is it running? Yeah, they, hard. They, they definitely solid shits. Because uh, those, some of those meta, some of those things that I mentioned, have you ever seen blood in their stool? No, I've never seen blood, bro. Never. Have they ever, like, do they throw up? I ain't never witnessed it. Um... Yeah, I ain't going to lie, fam. Without me, like, knowing, you know, more information from what you telling me, me personally, I could be wrong, nah. But I'm going to go with they got worms. Bro, that's what, I ain't going to lie, bro. When you had said that shit, 
that shit had dawned on me. Like, I felt as though I definitely should have been derailed more. Like, you feel like, I think that was it. Like, I think that's, I think, I really think that was it. Um, and again, fam, um, I'm trying to think, man. All right, at what age did the first one die, or the first two or three die? Uh, was they more than like two or three weeks old? Yeah, hell yeah. The first one, let me see. The first one died on. First one that died on, on Thanksgiving, bro. Thanksgiving more. So So me personally, fam, at that age, two three weeks old. Only thing that could be killing your puppies is. Got to be some type of worms, Giardia, Coccidia. It got to be one of those, fam. <sighs> but it don't. Well, it could be Coccidia, cause I done seen puppies get Coccidia and still poop out hard poop. Have you ever noticed any like mucus in they poop? Not really. If it ain't worms, if it ain't worms that's in they shit, then it's I don't really see shit. Just a just regular you feel me? Have you seen worms in they poop? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I w I'm most definitely going to say that. Maybe they got, they flooded with worms, fam. And they, they young, they immune system low. They body not strong enough to fight off some of those intestinal parasites. You get what I'm saying? Right. And those parasites that take them out, fam. I'm going to give you this tip right here too. And then I'm going I'm to end this video and I'm going to give you some more information. But I would say whenever you letting your mama dog to go out and use the bathroom, right? Yeah. I know it's hard, but if you can, with my young puppies, they come in the house with the mom. So I'm the one who got to let her outside to use the bathroom. Before, when she come back in this house, I wipe her nipples off with baby wipes. Okay. Or I get like alcohol pads or I'll put some alcohol on a napkin and wipe their nipples off. That kills any bacteria that might be on the nipple. So when she go back in there and let the puppies nurse, they not picking up that bacteria, or those germs that she done picked up outside. Okay. So always try your best to keep the mama nipples as clean as you can before the puppies suck. That's, that's, that's another thing, bro. That's, that's another thing, too. Like, that should make that should make it all sense. Like. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. That shit make it sense like a bitch, though, like. She do y'all back. Like, I don't let her run nowhere, but she be out back. You feel what I'm saying? Like, dirty shit out there. So, yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, fam, don't beat yourself down. I'm going to say this. Don't beat yourself down because it happens to the best of us. It's a learning process. Learn from it. Extract as much. See, for me, fam, and I notice a lot of people, they don't take it that serious. Dog, for me, when I first started, I made charts. I made PDFs. I was writing down everything that happened. Everything that went bad, everything that went good, I wrote it down. And I started to notice, okay, well, this worked, that didn't work, this worked, that didn't work. I ain't had nobody at that time that I could call and get all this information from. Over time, I built relationships with people, and then that helped me. But in the beginning, it was just me trying to figure it out. I, like I told y'all in the video, my first C-section litter that I had, bro, I lost all eight puppies within 48 hours. Hey. All of them died. And then a month later, I had another litter. And that went bad for me, too. She had 13 puppies. I only saved two of them. Hey, because it was just stuff I didn't know. So awesome. you got to be writing this stuff down. I'm here to help you. But you also got... And you and people watching on YouTube, y'all got to take the initial steps to where you don't have to depend on nobody all the time. Because what if you in a situation, you like, damn, I need, uh, 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 and maybe Fetty ain't answering the phone or whoever, you know, not available. You need to learn this stuff. So, um, I'm finna end this video. Family, I appreciate y'all. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Go, you on, you, you on Instagram, right? Yeah, on Instagram. I'm a, send me a screenshot of your Instagram page. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Family, y'all go follow my man on Instagram. <laughs> Give them some support because we all need the support. Um, and I love y'all, baby. I'm out of here.